Let's take a quick look at Painter's Make Mosaic feature. I'm going to start with a file quick clone so we can have something to work off of. And the next thing I will do is a canvas make mosaic. And you'll see that Painter brings up a new dialog box for you to work with. And the thing to note is that this make mosaic dialog box must remain open while you lay the tiles for your here we go. We are now laying tiles. I'm going to change the size of these tiles a little bit so they're a little bigger, a little easier to see. Now I'm just going to follow the contours of some of these petals to lay the tiles. The one thing you can do when this dialog box is open is also change the grout color. I'm going to change my grout color to black click OK. You can see the image seemed to get darker, but that's because I just have the tracing paper on. When you're working with a clone in the Make Mosaic dialog box, the only way you can turn tracing paper on and off is by using the checkbox located in the dialog box. As you can see, I have now turned off the tracing paper. Now turn it back on so I can see the image. We can do a little bit more laying of some tiles here. It takes quite a bit of time to actually lay enough tiles to make an image look really good, but it's just like everything else. If you spend a lot of time on something, you will end up with something that looks very nice. So Now you're going to say it's going to take forever and you're not going to get it done. That's not true. If you click Done here, you can come back into this dialog box, Canvas, make mosaic and continue where you left off. Painter actually remembers that this is a mosaic and it keeps all the features in there that are related including the grout. I changed that grout color once again. Change it to dark green. Okay. Turn off tracing paper so you can see the difference. And there it is. Use tracing paper. Let's go back to the black grout and lay more tiles. Say done. When you're done and you want to close your image, before you close it you want to save it, save as clone of sunflower. I'm going to call this clone of sunflower mosaic and I'm going to save it as a RIF file. Save, close, now just to show you that we can come back into this, so go open file open recent clone. Takes a while to open. And here we go again. Turn off my tracing paper. You can see it's still there. Canvas make mosaic. Turn tracing paper on, and I can continue laying tiles. Just make sure that you save your image as an RIF RIF file, Painter's Native Format. And that's a good way to get started with doing your mosaics.